Okay, I would like to talk to you um, about the gravitational field strength, um, which is, you know it better as the acceleration due to gravity. Um, both of these are going to be given, um, the, they're, they're the same thing. It's the little g. And so the gravitational field strength is uh, what we're going to use for this unit, but it's also called the acceleration due to gravity. Um, the definition of gravitational field strength is, um, which is g, is equal, it's equal to the force of gravity on a test mass divided by the test mass. So if you want to know if there's a field right in this region, what you do is you take and you put a test mass here. And let's say that um, it's pulled this way by the force of gravity. Well, then you know that there's a gravitational field, or at least we say there's a gravitational field that's this way. So the gravitational field is this way just because these two vectors uh, are going to, they, they have to have the same direction because you're just multiplying this, this vector by, or dividing it by a scalar. So these have to have the same direction. Okay, um, so it turns out then that, um, let's say that we do this and this test mass is one kilogram. And let's say that, um, lo and behold, there's 9.8 newtons of force on this. Well, then what we say is um, the excel, the not the acceleration due to gravity, well, the, the field strength is uh, going to be equal to the force of gravity on the test mass, which is 9.8 newtons, and um, divided by the actual test mass. So we say that it's 9.8 newtons per kilogram. What, what this means is for every kilogram you put there, there'll be 9.8 newtons. In fact, if you take this mass away, the way we think about it is when you take the mass away, you still have the field, the gravitational field. And any mass you put there, there'll be a, a force of 9.8 newtons for every kilogram you put there. So that's the field strength. It's, it's that way. And if I just want to talk about the magnitude of the field strength, then I just do that. That's the magnitude of the field. Okay, well, that said, um, let's look at a planet. If you want to know the field strength for a planet, let's have this be the planet. It's, let's first find the field right at the surface of the planet, um, a distance r away. Here's the radius of the planet. We've got a mass of the planet, the radius of the planet. If I want to know the field like right here, then I just apply the our basic equation. The strength of the field is going to equal the force of gravity at that spot divided by the test mass that you put there. Okay, let's put a test mass there then. The test mass that we put there um, will have a force of gravity on it of this, using this equation. Mass of the planet, mass of the test mass. Divide it by the distance between this and the center of the planet squared. So that distance is the radius of the planet. Okay, that's the force. And I still have to divide by the, the test mass. So the test mass cancels. And I'm left with that G is equal to um, capital G, mass of the planet, all over the radius of the planet squared. This is when you're on the planet. When you're, th This is the G on the planet. Okay, if we wanted to, we could put a vector quantity to this, call this um, a unit vector R, which is radially away. And then I want to show that that would actually be in toward the center, so I need a negative sign. Okay, so that's the that's the gravitational field strength. This is a unit vector r that just points away from the the center of the planet. All right, um, I want to show you one other thing that has to do with density. Then with this, uh, sometimes they want to put g little g in terms of the density of a planet, and so um, what we're going to do is the density of a planet, the average density, let's say is uh, the mass per volume. 
That's what density is. It's mass per volume. So the, it would be the mass of the planet divided by the volume of a planet. Now the volume of a planet, planets are pretty much spheres. We're going to treat them like spheres. And the volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. R sub p meaning the radius of the planet. Now because they're spinning, well first of all they're spheres because when they're formed gravity is pulling on the same in all directions and so that gives you, a, that, give, that forms a sphere, it wouldn't form a cube. It's pulling all that mass together and it forms a sphere. And because the sphere is spinning, uh, it it does get a little fatter at the equators than at the poles, um, but and so that's really called an an oblate spheroid. But we're going to treat them like spheres. So the Earth is a, is an oblate spheroid, but we're going to just treat it like a sphere, as though it were the same um, radius, no matter where you went. Okay, well, um, I'm going to combine this with our equation for G. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to solve for MP. So the mass of the planet, come over here. The mass of the planet, if I solve for this, is, is the density times 4 thirds pi times the radius of the planet cubed. And I'm going to go ahead, I just solved for, for the mass of the planet. And now I'm going to go ahead and insert that into this equation. Our equation for G of a planet. And so uh, the equation then is going to be, it's going to look something like this. Mass of the planet is um, G, or is D, times 4 thirds pi r cubed all over r of the planet squared. So we can get rid of um, this term and the cube. And we're left with that g of a planet is equal to, I'm going to bring the 4 thirds in front, 4 thirds g d pi times the radius of the planet. And so as you go out, um, uh, the, it, the G is directly proportional to the radius of the planet. Okay, uh, let, let me say a little bit more about this then, and we'll call it a, a video. Uh, so this is G anywhere near a planet is G mass of the planet uh, divided by r squared. Now r can be the radius of the planet if you're on the planet, but if you're like twice as far away, then this is the true r that you would use. Notice that that's squared. So if we double, um, if r is doubled, then G goes down by um, a fourth. G is one fourth the um, old value. If R is tri tripled, notice that this goes way down to um, a ninth of its old value. Okay. Uh, that's all I'm going to tell you about. I'm running out of time here. So that that is the gravitational field strength of a planet. All right, see you next video.